back steps and then I'm back in this direction. I want to get back into the court. Okay, we don't want you doing this. You're not to run out of the court. And now, see how I took too many steps to get back in? You got to stretch your body out wide. So, I need a tar. Let's listen to Paul Rodert, Managing Director of Player Development for the USTA, explain the break step and its movements in greater detail. Okay, so don't forget to put on the brakes is on here. Um, well, let's, take, let's go back to this eccentric and concentric idea. Uh, can you guys hit some ground strokes to each other? Putting on the brakes, and I'm going to highlight two areas of the body that I think are, are really important. We still have a little time, right? So let's take a look at their, their split step action and to see how well they move from side to side. Move each other around a little bit in a rally, okay? So are they putting on the brakes and then be, are they able to push off from there? Let's take a look at that. Um, all right, are they, mo are they changing direction? Are they overcoming inertia? Overcoming inertia was Newton's, which law was that? First law, thank you, first, first law. Okay, so he's, as he's running wide, not overcoming inertia as well, right? He's running wide, and instead of hitting and stopping, he's actually running through the ball a little bit. So that's an area I'd work with him on, on, on side to side movement. Overcoming inertia, okay, now. Go ahead, aim it cross court if you can, ready? Go ahead. Good, back. Yeah, now, she just, did you see how she came back around and caught it on the second time around? That's just, that was the break step a little bit late. Let's try it again and see if she can time it. Try again. Let's see if she can time it to come. That, there she did it. She came out and she stepped and hit back into the court. So the break step has to be timed correctly. Let's try it on her back end. One area to focus on is in the legs. If the feet are too close together, it is almost impossible to perform the break step correctly. Here in the inset picture, we can see a professional player performing the break step with a wider stance. This wider stance lowers the center of gravity and allows the player to push off the ground and get back into the court. Watch the pros on TV. They'll, they'll plant here and then they'll stretch out wide. So they're in a wider stance. Now you have more, you have more balance. So power come up here. Put your feet together like this. And to show that, I can just come over here right now and tip her over pretty simple. Now, widen your base out, real wide. Now try to resist it. Okay, she's way more solid. So I'm gonna give her a wide ball. I want her to widen that leg out. And then come back around. So she's gonna bang. Can you bring that basket up all the way? The brake step should be used regardless of what stance you are using. Here we can see a neutral or semi closed stance. In this last shot, due to the speed of the player, we will see a two step brake step used by elite players. Oh. 